an experiment designed to show how quickly the authorities in Russia are clamping down on free speech amid the war in Ukraine has been caught on camera, and the results are shocking. Dot. The sign itself bore no message in support of Ukraine or any other issue in defiance of the Kremlin and the will of Vladimir Putin. Instead, the sign simply read two words, but even this was enough to trigger a stampede of policemen clad in full riot gear who removed her from view in the blink of an eye. It comes as the Kremlin introduced a blanket ban on social media over the past week, throttling Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, as well as Western media and independent news sites, as it scrambles to control the narrative around its incursion into Ukraine. The video begins with a lone protester asking a cameraman filming in Manisnaya Square, Do you support activists? To which he responds, yes, of course. The woman then declares, I am just going to say two words, before adding with a knowing smirk, will they arrest me for this now or not? As she raised her tiny placard. Her placard had been in the air for a split second before a team of riot police steamed onto the scene and made a beeline towards the woman. They're arresting you already, the cameraman exclaimed, but the police grabbed the woman by the arms and had already hauled her away before he had even finished his sentence. The speed with which the police targeted the protester and removed her from the scene was staggering, but the most telling moment of the video came later. In the wake of her arrest, a second woman came to speak to the cameraman. Do you only film oppositionists? She asked pointedly. What about those who don't go around protesting and who believe that the military opposition launched by our country? Do you film those too? We show all opinions, the cameraman replied. But just as the woman prepared to declare her support for Putin's war, three policemen returned to the square and seized her by the arms before she was able to utter more than two words. Long before waging war on Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin was working to make Russia's internet a powerful tool of surveillance and social control akin to China's so-called Great Firewall. The overwhelming majority of Russia's top news websites and broadcast channels are state-owned and serve to parrot the Kremlin's perspective of domestic and international events. But in the wake of the conflict in Ukraine, Putin has launched an all-out media offensive, introducing widespread censorship in an attempt to ensure Russian citizens are only able to access his version of events. The Kremlin has already placed restrictions on Facebook and Twitter so severe that the social media networks are effectively unreachable on the Russian Internet, and on Friday announced it would begin to restrict access to Instagram, one of Russia's preferred social media sites and a vital source of income for thousands of individuals and businesses. Putin has also blocked access to both Western media and independent news sites in the country, and even brought in a new law which criminalized the spreading of fake news, that is, information which deviates from the Kremlin's propaganda drive.
Around 2.5 million people have already fled Ukraine since the invasion began in late February, with the civilian death toll sitting at 549 as of Monday morning according to the UN, though this figure is expected to be much higher.